Hello, differential equation students, and welcome back to unit five. This is video number four over section 6.1. And in this video, we are going to continue to change our summations, the index of the summations to all k's and specifically I'd like kx to the k power. So as we look at this, of course we see some issues, right? We have um, this x to the n power, we have this x to the n minus 2, and then we have x to the n here. So for each one of them, we're, we're going to set up what we want. So here this is actually very straightforward, n can equal k. Right? That makes for a very smooth transition for this first one because I still keep the same index and I'm basically just swapping out the variable, right, or the counter, essentially. And I have that, right? So that shouldn't be too bad. Now, the next one here, I got just a little bit of work to do, right? So it's n minus 2, so I want k to equal n minus 2. Of course, that means that n equals k plus 2. So as I'm doing this one, I see plus 2. I have this index of, okay, so it's n equals 2. Well, n is equal to k plus 2, right? which would then make this k equals 0 to infinity. And then I have a k plus 2 times a k plus 2 minus 1. Then I have c sub k plus 2 and x to the k, right? And that's this second one. Then moving along, we see the last one here. And I get away with this n equals k again, which is nice. So I have plus 3. This is a k equals 1 to infinity of k, c sub k, and x to the k, right? Now, if you remember from the last time, I want a single summation, right? So right now, right, we have one, two, and three summations. And in order to just make it one summation, I have to have the indexes match, right? The indices have to match. Here I have a k equals two. I can't move that down to zero, just like I can't move one down to zero. But what I can do is I can turn this zero into a two, and I can turn this one into the two. Of course, if I'm going to change this one here into a two, then I need the k equals zero and the k equals one term. So as I'm plugging this in for k equals zero, I would have, let's see here. So plugging this in, I could do a little simplification, but I think I'll leave it like this. This isn't too bad. Zero plus two, that'd be a two. This is a 0 plus 2, that's 2, minus 1 is 1, so this is a 2, times the 2 out front would make 4, 0 plus 2, that's C sub 2, and then X to the 0 power, this is an X to the 0, right? Hopefully you followed that through, of course it's nothing to plug it in yourself, then you have this K, next one I would put a K here, or a K equals 1 there, that's 3, that'd make a 3 minus 1 is 2, that's 6, times this 2 would make 12. Then I have a C sub 3 and X to the first, right? Then the rest of it is at K equals 2 now to infinity of the exact same thing. And then as I do this, I think I'll simplify it. So this is K plus 1 here c sub k plus 2, and x to the k, all right? And that was just that purple one there, okay? So again, hopefully that wasn't too terrible as you're looking at it. Um, the next one that I really like to try to conquer 
is this one over here. Of course, it's k equals 1, so I only have to do k equals 2 on this one. So this hopefully won't be too bad. We put a 2 here, that's 2, times the 3, which would make a... Open. Oh, I almost made a mistake here. That's not a 2 that I want. I, I need it to be 2 for this indice, right? But I need the 1 to go away, so I need to evaluate it at 1, which is a 1 times 3, which would be plus 3. This would be C sub 1, and then that's x to the first. Okay, and I'm running out of space here, but I think I can fit uh, it in. Maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll put it down here. So then I have plus 3 times the summation from k now equals 2 to infinity of k, c sub k, x to the k. Okay. And now as we're looking at this, right, hopefully you can kind of see it here. I'll try to highlight it. We'll see how well it goes with all the colors. But I have this one over here because it's already k equals 2. And I have all of this, right? And then I do have this section right here. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad, right? Um, we do have a little bit of finagling to do, but in general, I think we'll be okay here. When we go to finish writing it, we do want to combine anything that we see. Um, and it, and each person kind of does this a little bit differently. It's always up to you. Uh, the first thing I see is this x to the 0, which is really just a constant. And I don't see any other ones floating around out here. So I think I'll leave with that. That's 4 c sub 2. Then I am basically done with that term, right? The next one, I see 12 c sub 3 x to the first. And I also see this one over here because it's x to the first as well. Well, let's start with that, or let's go with those ones. Those all have a coefficient then of 12c sub 3 plus 3c sub 1. And then it would be with our variable x, right? Because they both have these x's. Then we just kind of combine their coefficients. After I have that, right, that's gone, that's gone. All that's left are the like summations with the same indices. So I should be able to say k equals 2 to infinity, right? And now, because they all have this k, this x to the k power, okay, it is very typical to factor that out. So I'm going to factor it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave everything else in there together. So I have this k, right, times k minus 1, C sub k, and then it would be a plus. Okay, then the next one I'm moving in here, so that's k plus 2, k plus 1, C sub k plus 2, right? And then I have the final one over here. I don't forget about this 3, so that's plus. three k c sub k and then I close it and I have x to the k okay now technically here it's right um typically what you want to do is I group this x to the k out like I've taken it out I've factored it out it's nice to group these common constants together like see so this piece here also could be combined with this one so if I try to do that, that'd be a k times k minus 1, okay, plus 3k. Now all of those get a c sub k. Then I have plus k plus 2, k plus 1, c k plus 2. And then I close this whole thing and it's x to the k times it, and all of this is being summed from k equals 2 to infinity, and I drop down my 4 c sub 2 plus 12 c sub 3 plus 3 c sub 1 
x and then plus in here. Okay, and we have our final solution. All right, now that's just messing with the indices and getting these. Um, here, let me get the highlighter. That's just messing with the indices and getting this x to the k power injected in here. And this is going to become very key once we start tackling the actual differential equations um, with power series. So this does complete 6.1. You should be good to go for the 6.1 homework.